someone ever told you that you're not losing weight because you're not eating enough food or you're in starvation mode? Let's talk about what this really means and if it's even true. And if you're new here, my name is Soraya. I'm a certified macro nutrition coach and I help women achieve their weight loss goals without cutting out their favorite food. And after working with 300 plus clients, I can tell you that there's two scenarios here. I find that most women relate to the first one. The first one is that you may not eat a lot of food. Maybe you eat two, three meals, maybe a snack, but the foods you are eating are high in calories. Hence why you're not losing weight and maybe even are gaining weight. For example, this is one Chick-fil-A meal. We have a chicken sandwich, a fry, a lemonade, and Chick-fil-A sauce, and that comes out to a thousand calories for one meal. So even if you're only eating two meals a day, you could still be eating 2000 calories. Whereas in this example, we're making a homemade chicken sandwich with just bare chicken. We're using a better bun, Alexia waffle fries, which are non-GMO. And we're having a side salad as well and sauce. And this is half the calories. So in this case, when people say you're not eating enough food, they mean you're not eating enough nutrient dense foods. If you do eat more nutrient dense foods, you can eat three meals and a couple snacks and still be within your calorie goal. Now, the second scenario that I see far less often is some women really aren't eating enough calories. This tends to happen when you've done a low calorie diet, like 1200, 1000 calories, and you've been doing it for a long time and your body ends up adapting to that amount of food. You know if this is you, if you lost weight very quickly in the beginning and now you've hit a plateau and you don't know where to go from here. You're scared to eat more calories out of a fear of gaining weight and you're scared to eat less calories because you feel like you're already not eating very much. In this case, you're experiencing what's called metabolic adaptations where your body adjusts to a certain amount of calories and so you're not really seeing results with that calorie amount anymore. In this case, you need a reverse diet, which basically means that you're slowly increasing your calories till you get back to maintenance calories before going back into a proper deficit. Whether you're struggling with scenario number one or number two, I help my clients overcome both. And lose the weight with ease and eat plenty of foods that they enjoy. So if you want more personalized coaching and support with nutrition, fitness, and changing your relationship with food, then head to the link in my bio to learn all about our coaching program.